here with Rock Hill Farms. And if you've been following along, we just finished this pond expansion, but there's a ton of work left to be done on it. I need to dig some swales, I need to dig some more drain lines, and I need to finish cutting out this island. But before I get to any of that, I need to do some work on dredging out the older part of the pond. Because allowing the water to flow into the new part lowered the water level, and now a week later, that section that lowered down is kind of dried out enough that I can get in there and do some work. So this is the perfect time to do that job, even though I don't really feel like doing it. So I got my buck boots on. I'm gonna go grab some tools and get down in there. All right. So you got one root out? Yeah, I got one root. It goes down. It's huge bulbs. So I anticipated this being a ton of work, trying to pull those out with a rake. But what's happening is the tubes coming up break off really easy so you can't grab them and even just jerk them out you have to dig the the root ball out and there's thousands of them so. that's just one root off one lily pad yeah here's the other part of it right here that's all together there's thousands of them out here that's gonna be really hard to clean up. So, this is already gonna to be tougher than I thought. I'm gonna get the backhoe and see if I can shape this bank where I can get down here a little ways with the backhoe. It's possible we may end up having to get a mini excavator again just to do this or pay someone to do it, but if I'm paying, I think I'd rather still do it myself and rent one. All right, so when we first bought the property, I really thought it was nice having these lily pads in here. They gave it a nice look but they're just slowly crowding out the entire pond and apparently they reduce your oxygen levels and lower the pH and they're just, they are bad for the health of the pond and keeping fish in it. So they do need to come out. actually really easy to put on you just drive under it lift it up put these pins in oh I put that pin in from the wrong side put these pins in and then switch your hydraulic lines and you're done all right so far today things haven't been going according to plan hopefully we have better luck with the backhoe I'm gonna try to slope this bank more like the bank is on the new pond and then Maybe I can drive up in there a little ways and scoop out all those roots with the backhoe. We'll find out. Getting access to the bank to dig out these lilies is not the only reason I'm doing this. So this is what we call a cow killer pond here. It's hard to tell from the angle I'm at, but it got about a two foot drop off. And I didn't like that shape on the bank, and I already wanted to slope it off. Once we finish cutting out for the island, the slope I'm building right here is going to line up with the slope on the new pond section. For this part of the project, the tractor backhoe works just fine because I can set the spoils off in a place where they're easily picked up. One of the people who's been watching this channel for a long time, named Dean Moore, sent me a clip of his new grapple and his new third function setup and ask if I could include it in a video. 
So stick around to the end and you'll see Dean with his new setup. And go ahead and throw a comment down and say hi to Dean. I think he'd like that. Before I jump into this, I want to give a shout out. This is not something I do very often, but I had a fellow YouTuber reach out and actually be really helpful to me. And it's a guy with a bigger channel than mine and a lot more equipment and really seems to know what he's doing. He watched one of my pond digging videos and he shared that on his community tab. And then we kind of struck up a conversation and I've been watching a bunch of his videos and like I said, he's a really knowledgeable guy, puts out daily videos that are really helpful. And he's done a bunch of bigger ponds where he had to figure out the drainage and build up a bank. And mine was kind of an easy one because it's, it's just attaching to an existing pond. But the channel name is Capper Outdoors, K-A-P-P-E-R Outdoors. They do a lot of equipment stuff, tractors, excavators, skid steers. They also do, um, like hunting and fishing and land management and all kinds of stuff. And I think you should go check them out. I'm going to put a link in the description and the pinned comment. And at the end of the video, I'll put a link out to one of their videos up in the corner. This really felt like I was leaning forward and the fact that the outriggers were pressed into a really soft mud made me feel like it wasn't very stable but it didn't try to move and it gave me enough reach to get a lot of these lilies out. So at this point I was still feeling like the backhoe was doing the job that I needed it to do.
So now I've dredged out all of the muck and the uh, lilies that I can reach. And it's time to move the tractor. This is the point when it became really obvious that you just don't have enough swing on these tractor backhoes to get the spoils out of the way. So everything I've dug out of here is still being set inside the perimeter of what originally was the pond. And after I set them there, then I have to move the tractor and move them again. And that still doesn't get it where I can scoop them out with the bucket. All right, the angle I was at there was not the safest feeling I've ever had, but I got a big chunk of that dug out roots and all. So I think on the next section, I'll make more of a gradual slope. This was still a pretty steep drop right there. So by the time I got back where I needed to be, I was sitting at a real high angle. Right now you're seeing me handle this for the third or fourth time just to get it far enough up that I can scoop it. And on top of that, this is a sludge that would take forever to dry out and it's setting in a spot where I want to be able to drive. So it's just not an effective solution. And it would be even worse driving down the peninsula to cut the island because I would have to dig just a small amount, drive out, drive back in and scoop it because there's just no other way to remove the material. All right, so I learned a couple things today. Number one being those lily pads are a lot harder to take out than I thought. Even though they're in total mud, 
they're rooted pretty hard and you can't just grab them and pull them out. I really thought I was going to be able to pull those out by hand or with a rake and then just slope the bank a little bit and be done. But because those are going to have to be mechanically dug out, I'm going to have to probably rent the mini excavator again because the backhoe just cannot reach far enough. It actually, it can. It can reach far enough, but then whenever you scoop up what you're digging, you can't put it behind you. So you're just moving it a few feet to the side. Works fine for a trench or if you're digging a small hole, but for this, you're not able to move the dirt far enough. So I was moving it four times. It's just not time effective. So anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.